Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the young and the restless hint at a future for the tangled connection between Chelsea Lawson and Billy Abbott. No doubting their deep affection for one another, Chelsea and Billy met under difficult circumstances. Chelsea will always be thankful to Billy for saving her from jumping over the roof that tragic night. Chelsea will always associate her feelings for Billy with the darkest moment of her life, even though they are simultaneous. Billy acts as a kind of ongoing reminder of what transpired. When Chelsea looks at Billy, she recognizes her hero, but she also needs to consider why she needed a hero in the first place. Following her suicide attempt, Chelsea turned to Billy for a lot of support. Since then, Chelsea has clung to Billy as if he were her mental safety net, but is this kind of love truly healthy? Regretfully, as Chelsea holds herself responsible for Connor Newman's anguish, my and our viewers are aware that she is going through yet another difficult time. Since Connor is doubting his own birth, Chelsea can't help but believe that her own struggle contributed to her son's problems. Undoubtedly, Chelsea is repeating what happened on the roof and wishes she could have stopped the entire ordeal, especially what Connor is going through right now. What if Chelsea concludes that the night she nearly committed suicide is too closely linked to her feelings for Billy? Chelsea might believe that abandoning Billy is the best course of action because her negative memories are resurfacing, both for her own mental well-being and to release Billy. Naturally, Chelsea may also feel compelled to prioritize Connor and decide that a romantic relationship is no longer appropriate for her, at least not while she is concentrating so much on Connor's medical care. Is it possible that Chelsea will end their relationship with Billy and encourage him to pursue Lily Winters? If Chelsea tells Billy it's over, Lily might be the one to help him pick up the pieces of his broken heart. At the same time, Chelsea's feelings for Billy are always going to be intertwined with the lowest point of her entire life. In some ways, Billy serves as a constant reminder of what happened. Chelsea sees her hero when she looks at Billy, but that means she also has to think about why she needed a hero in the first place. Billy became a major source of support for Chelsea after her attempt to end her own life. Chelsea has been clinging to Billy like an emotional security blanket ever since, but is that kind of love really healthy? Sadly, Y and R fans know Chelsea is going through another rough patch since she blames herself for Connor Newman's trauma. Connor is questioning why he was even born, so Chelsea can't help but feel like her own ordeal snowballed into her son's difficulties. The situation no doubt has Chelsea replaying what went down on the roof and wishing she could have avoided this whole nightmare, including what Connor is going through now. What if Chelsea decides her feelings for Billy are just too tied to the night, she almost jumped to her demise? Since bad memories are getting stirred up again, Chelsea may feel like the best thing she can do is dump Billy, both for her own mental health and to set him free. Of course, Chelsea might also feel the need to put Connor first and determine that a romance just doesn't fit in her life anymore, at least not while she's so focused on Connor's treatment. Could Chelsea ultimately break up with Billy and give him a big push in Lily Winter's direction? Lily could be the one to pick up the pieces of Billy's broken heart if Chelsea tells him it's over. The young and the restless spoilers say Billy and Chelsea could be headed for splits though, so stick with us for updates on any breakup news that might be looming. Stay tuned for any breaking news regarding Billy and Chelsea, the young and the restless spoilers hint that they may be headed for splits though. There's some depressing news regarding a well-liked former cast member, according to young and the restless spoilers. At the age of 85, Marla Adams, who gained notoriety for playing Dina Mergerin on Y&R, passed away. Fans of soap operas are grieving over this difficult loss, 
and social media has been exploding with tributes to Adams' outstanding performances. As a means to honor Adams's exceptional acting career, some fans have gone so far as to share their all-time favorite Dana moments. When Marla Adams joined the show for the first time in 1982, she brought Dina to life for multiple return appearances over the years. Her final return appearance resulted in Dina's death in 2020. Following her devastating portrayal of Dina's Alzheimer's journey, Adams was awarded a Daytime Emmy for her outstanding performance. The Abbott family was dealt a serious blow by that plot, which generated a lot of attention in the soap opera community. Although Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, Ashley Abbott, and Tracy Abbott had difficult relationships with their mother, they were deeply in love with Dana and have been grieving her loss ever since. Regretfully, everyone is now also in grief for Marla Adams, but her legacy will endure. Dina was an intriguing character, and Adams' skill allowed him to play her to absolute perfection. Adams appeared in episodes of Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, The Bold and the Beautiful, The Secret Storm, Generations, and more in addition to her role as Dina Mergeron. Marla Adams first joined the show back in 1982 and brought Dana to life for several return stints over the years, including her most recent one that led to Dana's demise in 2020. After playing Dana's heartbreaking Alzheimer's arc, Adams took home a well-deserved Daytime Emmy for her incredible work. That storyline definitely got plenty of buzz in the soap world and brought a difficult blow for the Abbott family. Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, Ashley Abbott and Tracy Abbott had complicated relationships with their mother, but they loved Dina dearly and have felt that loss ever since her passing. Sadly, now everyone is mourning the loss of Marla Adams as well, but her memory will live on. Dina was a fascinating character, and she was played to perfection thanks to the talent Adams brought to the table. In addition to playing Dina Mergerin, Adams had roles on The Bold and The Beautiful Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, The Secret Storm, Generations, and more. Matt Kane, who's the, the director of media and talent for Y and R, announced that Adams died in Los Angeles on Thursday, April 25. Our hearts go out to Adams' loved ones during this emotional time. As for what's next in Genoa City, our predictions point to some other Ashley-related challenges for the Abbott clan. The young and the restless spoilers say Jack, Tracy, and the rest of the Abbots will have a hard time dealing with some twists in Ashley's storyline, so stay tuned for updates on what's in store. On Thursday, April 25, Matt Kane, Y and R's director of media and talent, made the announcement that Adams had passed away in Los Angeles. We are praying for Adams' family during this difficult time. Regarding the future of Geno City, our forecasts indicate that the Abbott family will face additional Ashley-related difficulties. Keep checking back for updates on what's coming up since spoilers for The Young and The Restless indicate that Jack, Tracy, and the other Abbots will find it difficult to handle some of the narrative developments involving Ashley. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.